Hey -o. Can you guys hear the fan in the background? You might hear a little bit of the white noise uh, <clears throat> uh, behind my mic, but uh, that is just the fan. I'm running it a little bit higher because it's hot. <laughs> it's been a sweat box all day. Uh, how's everyone doing? Uh, happy Friday night. Uh, it's good to be here. Sorry for the late start. Uh, things just kind of kept piling up one one thing after the next. Uh, you know, uh, got started on some things kind of late and then that kind of stacked up. Ended up having a late dinner. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And so here we are. Um, so it might be a bit of a shorter stream tonight. Uh, continuing on with the Mass Effect uh, Insanity run, still working on the first Mass Effect uh, from the Legendary Edition. Um, last, where we left off last, um, I just uh, found another side mission. So I've just landed on a new planet um, in the Mako. Uh, but what I really want to do is find the uh, next main mission. The location of the next main mission, which is Liara's dig site, uh, I have haven't yet recruited Liara uh, into my into my team, so uh, that's my next uh, main objective. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna uh, knock out this side mission, and then we'll see uh, how things go from there. All right, cool. So since um yeah, since I'm starting late, I'm just gonna jump right into the game and uh, try not to waste any any time. Get into it. All right, uh, let me get the sound back up. Here we go. And Muzak. Oh, that's important. Okay. Uh, who is on my team again? Let's see here. We have Rex and Tally. Uh, mainly bring Tally because Garrus failed me quite miserably on the last mission. He just kept on dying. He's extremely squishy last mission. So he didn't really have a whole lot of utility. Uh, despite having uh, a sniper rifle, I leveled up his armor and survivability. He was dying a hell of a lot. And he wasn't, his decryption wasn't high enough for us to open all, our, all the lockers and chests. So I thought, ah, screw it, this time I'll bring in Tally. We still have the muscle in the form of Rex, so we should be fine. We gotta find our waypoints. Let's, let's go, let's go here first. All right. I wonder if there will be a uh, Thresher Maws on this planet. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah, I just had a feeling. Out in the middle of nowhere. Is that good aim? Get really good aim. I'm gonna have to uh, find find the rocky uh, outcropping here for a cover. Am I too far away? I might be too far away. It's usually the uh, the best defense. These Russian laws get away from the uh, soft ground and. Some burrowing around, but it's not playing my game, which is unfortunate. Shit. 
Seriously. The Thresher Maw is like the main enemy of this uh, mission. Seems like. Seems like if I run off to the outskirts, it's not gonna. Let's see if I can find some shelter here. Where is it? a lot of damage. I died. These uh, Thresher Maws do way too much damage. All right, let's uh, what's my what's my new tactic against these guys? It's now back when I played the original Mass Effect, I do not remember uh, these Thrasher mods having such a good aim. Like you used to be able to just be able to circle strafe around them and it'd be fine. There, right now, is like nigh impossible to avoid their spit. other way I see is I just run in and just interact with whatever it is that needs to be interacted with. fix myself repair repair oh my god so i tried to jump out of the uh, vehicle and just uh oh man this is this is gonna be quite a don't don't delete the save i think i know how to throw off the guy's aim now if i just jump right before i think he's gonna shoot then he'll aim at the air so i think that's the trick i think Yeah, I, I, I guess he's just gonna have to be put down. Nothing like something that's gonna throw off my aim. There we go. Work a lot 
better. Pressure maw down. Well, he took half a dozen tries. Right. Now we can uh, explore in peace. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. And they got whooped by the Thresher maw. Wood. Some meta gel. Okay. <clears throat> Is that it? All right. Back inside, people. Back inside. for a save. Right. Planets need to be a little bit smaller, or the Mako needs to just drive a little bit faster. I've always felt that. Mummified Salarian. Oh. Ah, let's try our luck. Oh, nice. That was close. I almost got touched by one of those uh, moving blocks. You found Captain Mylon's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. some debris. Which way is it? This way. Uh, it's a pretty small uh, area to explore this time. Not too bad. I have heard, you know, despite people bashing uh, Andromeda, uh, that game has its share of problems. I've heard I think most people agree that the Mako they have in the game is a big improvement over this one. And uh, the combat in Andromeda is supposed to be really good. Everything else though, maybe not up to par. And they had a rough launch, so I've heard. Salvage. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, this one's this one's a little tricky. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, armor upgrades, ammo upgrades. Okay, a little bit of everything here. Sweet. Oh, what a 
There's all this stuff. Five more minerals. Do all these different uh, random assignments. Equipment wise, I'm using a pistol and upgrades. I've been finding uh, non synthetics, so I've cut it on the anti personnel rounds. What other options do I have here? Chemical, phasic. I keep it on the anti personnel. And secondary. Stability doesn't really matter too much for pistols, so I might go for other things like absorption, heat absorption. Yeah. Rex. He's got his assault rifle. And. Yeah, we'll give him the shredder rounds. Give him the uh, this was heightened damage. I may I'll give him the heat sink as well. Yeah. And um, Tally, she's also got pistol, but I need to give her a better pistol. So maybe I'll give her the Kessler three. Yeah. Yes. She's uh, got hers versus synthetics. I'll just leave that for now. But armor piercing. Maybe switch up into this one. Yeah. I'll just give her the recoil damper one. Hey, Derek! Welcome in. Good to see you. And uh, hello, A Auditore. Welcome both. Happy Friday, guys. Yeah, so I just got wrapped up uh, on this uh, side mission here. And I'm gonna head back into orbit. Yeah. Got some loot. Uh, how are how are your evenings going? To you both. Derek, do you also have a long weekend? Or or do you have do you have a day off somewhere else because of, you know, your your company being a, a US based and everything? Hi Derek, hi Mac. Yeah, your emotes are quite nice, I have to say. Hey, auditory. Friday's going well. Had a long, long day at work. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you had your presentation early this morning, right, Derek? How'd that go? You're 8 a.m. Long weekend? What's the occasion? Well, it's, uh, it's BC Day on Monday. Special. Special, ain't it? Oh, you know what? I, I, oh, I should save. Let me just back out of here. Uh, back all the way. Oh, exit. There we go. Save it out. Back on the command deck. Ooh, BC Day. Nope, not for me. Ah. Is there a US equivalent uh, on this August 1st? Presentation went well. They liked the work. They want to see more by Monday, though. So I got a little weekend work ahead of me. Oh, what a bunch of, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, great, great work. We love it. Yeah, why don't you just like, you know, take a weekend and uh, 
let's talk about you know a follow-up on monday but no it's like let's see some more stuff by monday it's like hint hint now you gotta work this weekend damn take no prisoners well I'm, I'm glad they like your work though it's great to know that you're uh your little bit of overtime and your hard work overall over the last couple weeks covering for your coworker has has paid off i hope uh, maybe your your coworker uh you know takes you out for a coffee or something maybe even lunch <laughs> that'd be nice they were saying i appreciate you found some hydrogen I have to say, it's never really impressed upon you what value these random elements provide. Like finding hot, you know, deposits of plutonium or hydrogen. Like, I never really understood what in-game benefits they give you. So yeah, so I found some hydrogen. It's weird. Okay, so Sparta has been fully explored. Uh, let's go over and check out Macedon. Yeah. Are there any US holidays coming up soon? I have no idea. Well, well, A Auditory, if you don't mind me asking, whereabouts in the US uh, do you, do you uh, reside? We can land at uh, Shargila. survey this place matrix writings recovered you were scanning the planet Poraland when a strange signal came from orbit and navigator presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found one of matrix dilanaga's writings in its storage compartment okay let's check out patavig nothing Arizona. Oh, nice, nice. I have never been. Is that hardware there right now in Arizona? Gas deposit surveyed. Scans of orbit have detected a large concentration of xenon. Once again, you know, I, I don't know what benefit that provides, but it's good I found something. Um. I'm pretty sure that's not... I'm looking for uh, the Liara's Dig Site mission right now. We're in the vicinity of it in Ar Artemis Tau. But we haven't actually struck gold yet. So I gotta fi find the right system. It's been raining a bit, so not bad, but it's muggy. Ah, uh, yes. The we, we know the mugginess well here. Pharos, Turin's insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony insignia. Salamis, nothing going on here. Ooh, rain. I wish we had some of that. It was a hot one up here, hey? Eh? Oh my goodness. I think it, today was even worse than yesterday, Derek. Like, for real, yesterday, without a fan directly blowing on me and I was on the sofa, I, I just could not keep from dozing off. But it was a very fitful nap. Because I would just wake up periodically in a literal sweat. And then, uh, yeah, you know, last couple days definitely had a bit of the, the it's too hot kind of minor headache happening too. <laughs> you know, you just want to 
sit down and uh, go unconscious for a while, get some relief. Alright, so are we... Okay, we're still in Athens. I was trying to find a needle in the haystack. So actually, there's not too much going on here. So I'm going to back out. Okay, let's try uh, Gnosis. Gnosis. All this weather talk, I forgot to wish you all a happy Morbs Day. <laughs> yes. It's always Morbin time with you, Derek. Oh god, I got that heat headache today. Like pressure? Uh, not so much pressure, just like a, a dull... You know, kind of like a dull throb. It was like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have a bit of a discomfort in, in the head region. I think we found it, guys. Theorem? I think this is it. I have land. I think I think we struck gold now. Okay. Let's see here. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to um because I don't plan on using Tally all that much. But I gave her some good uh, upgrades. So I went to pass those out in the Garrus, but it should be fine. It should be fine. I'm going to take uh, Rex and Garrus again. Hopefully Garrus can stay alive a little bit longer this time. It's a pretty balanced squad, as you can see there. A little bit of everything. Plop. Boing. There we go. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Oops. Well, let's go check it out. Yeah, the heat headaches are no fun. Uh, I'm, I'm fully ready for, I, I guess, Monday. Monday is when it's going to cool off. And then next week, they're, they're calling for some rain. So, yeah, sign me up for that. Sign me up. Uh, I remember this planet. It's, it's very industrial. Industrialized. Here we got things set up here. I'm ready for winter. No bugs, no sweating. <laughs> no sweating is key. Oh my goodness. Uh, sweat, it's just been non stop stickiness this week. Completely, uh, completely gnarly. Same, I'm much more of a winter guy. Pile on the layers of clothes and toasty warmth. Yeah, I hear you. Give me some cold, because you can always add layers, right? When it's cold, by and large. Bug wise, it hasn't been too bad. We uh, tried out some of those um, mosquito patches that you put in your clothes, and they've actually worked out okay. Like they're not amazing. You have to put on a couple of them. Oh shit! But better than nothing. Better than nothing. We're gonna be fighting a bunch of those geth robot things on the way to our uh, destination. That's for sure. 
there's something there. I just want want to wear my hoodies and PJ bottoms. <laughs> Miss my hoodies. Won't be wearing those bad boys for at least another couple of months. Yeah. Seriously, I, 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 my closet is so geared towards fall and winter. Like, I only own a couple pairs of shorts. Shorts that I've owned for, like, years now. I haven't gotten any new shorts for, for so long. Only a fool punches a nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Get one down. Some hits here. Ah, oh, shit. Not very good at dodging. Yeah. This house. There we go. Dodged one. Basically landed on it. Yeah, so I have a surplus of hoodies. Sweaters, turtlenecks, all useless right now. Okay, so there's really nothing here. I have to go the other way. Okay. It's a bunch of red dots around the corner. It's gonna be fun. Bit. Let, the, let the missile pass. <laughs> oh shit. It's close to that guy. You want some. Who else wants it? Is that it? I guess we have to go inside uh, the uh, gate control. Alright. Everybody stay frosty. The gear is on my left now. And we're fighting synthetics, so maybe we should uh, outfit ourselves accordingly. Oh, here we go. Yeah, damn it. Uh, Tally has the other armor piercing upgrade. Maybe we can do like shield bypass. I don't think the poison's gonna do much for me. Phasic rounds, proton rounds, shield bypass, but less damage. Let's try that. And uh, Rex, you're using the Avenger. So, yeah, you're geared towards organics as well. Maybe we do the weapon forest for you or the shield bypass. Try weapon forest, maybe. Yeah, I try. Hoodie season didn't last long this year. Caused by the end of January, it was actually warm here. 
which sucked because it used to go until mid-March if we got lucky. Oh wow, yeah. I see what you mean. End of January? No, that's a bummer. That's not nearly long enough. Yeah, seriously. Warm by end of January? That's so... Hmm. Wasn't for sure this winter was actually warm enough for me to wear tank tops and leggings. <laughs> Can we blame global warming? There's nothing actually here. That's disappointing. They created this entire little room to do nothing. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. He's not even here yet. My buddies are like lagging behind. Like I'll lift you. <laughs> Shot him in the ass a couple times. Peasy. Ooh, a new pistol. New pistol gate control. Open sesame. That's it. Let's look at my new toys. The Ryko Reich 4. More damage. Heats up faster. Also, better accuracy. Overall better. Let's try it out. Yeah. An Avenger 4. Perfect. Anything for Rex? Nope. What are you doing for armor? Nothing. Okay, nothing. Oh, he leveled up too. Mac, is this a side quest or main storyline? This is a main um, storyline quest. Uh, we're trying to find Liara to Sony. Uh, she's a, a sorry scientist and she uh, ends up joining your crew and she's a really powerful. Uh, member of your team actually she, she can be um decryption master sabotage cool two more points i'm gonna put it into um more sniper i guess yeah okay rex here i'm going to he's keep pumping oh he's got no points Part of me. So only uh, Garrus, because Garrus was not part of the. He's not on the last mission, so he he missed a, a level up. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. Okay. So we're uh, doing this one. Finally, our Liar to Sony. I th I'm pretty sure this is the dig site. Looks very dig site ish. So we open the gate. Oh, there's a locked crate here. Easy decryption. Let's do it. There we go. Another one of these pistols. We got a Stinger 4. Man, all the toys are coming fast and furious now. In the early game, like there's, I couldn't find anything. And now I'm finding things left and right, which is cool. Less damage, a better heat sink, and better accuracy. 
I like the spam, so maybe maybe I'll try out the stinger instead. I like to be able to just shoot constantly. They caught up, so now I can warp him. Wait, he's on this side now. Whoa, my aim. We have a shotgun, a new assault rifle. And new sniper rifle, sweetness. All right, guys, let's see your new toys. Naginata four. Yes. Striker four, even better. Okay. Banshee. Marginally more damage, but worse heat sink. Actually, slightly better too. Ah, uh, we'll stick with the Avenger for now. Yeah. Okay. We have another uh, gate button to push. I don't like the look of my new uh, armor. The color could be better. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Function over form. I think we're gonna leave now. If we open this gate up, we're gonna, yeah. So yeah, we'd already blasted all the defenses. We have to go to the other side now. There we go. Yep. We're on our way. We will probably be ambushed by a few more of these geth. What are their actual names again? Yeah, you know, I was never a huge fan of like the Mako sequences. I remember why. It's a little tedious. <laughs> it's a little entertaining though, sometimes. Sometimes. They they overstay their welcome, I think is the main problem. Once you've uh, driven across one barren wasteland of a planet and battled with like a bunch of these Geth armatures, you've kind of done it all. You don't need to do it like multiple times. That was a really bad uh, jump. Dead. 
change your armor. I did it with ghosts. I didn't like the look of the better samurai armor, so I went back to my fave outfit, even though it was less has less defensive stats. Oh, I think I remember that, Derek. Yeah, yeah. Take the stat hit for increased pleasure. <laughs> I may have accidentally sold the previous armor I was wearing. I mean, to be honest, the uh, improvements to the uh, stats are, are marginal. Uh, let me see here. Do I still have it? See, yeah, I, I mean, with the shields, the shields are much better. But then I lose out on the tech biotic protection. But overall damage protection is, is like, yeah, it's not too much different. So let me see if this is the one. Transfer. Yeah, see, this was the original. You know, it's nice and sleek looking black. has the N7 logo on it. And then this is the one I switched to. <laughs> this is like tan colored monstrosity. And then what's this one? This one just has poor stats overall. Does it look good? Oh, is this? Oh, also looks crap. Oh, it's the same series, right? It's just the second level of it. All right, you convinced me, Derek. I'll go back to the sleek black. Marginal at best. Swap it out, man. Swap it out. <laughs> Much sleeker. Gross yellow. Get out of here. It's all about the fashion, right? You convinced me. You convinced me. I'll do it for this mission at least. No more intimidates. Okay. Let's keep going into barrier. Oh, we can just max it out. Let's just do it. Master barrier increases duration and shield strength of barrier. Nice. And then uh, Garrus gets his leveling as well. Let's get his advanced assassination. Leaving us two more points. He's been sort of squishy. So maybe I will go into his tactical armor. And Rex. He's got three points. I'm going to keep going into his fitness. So he's as tanky as possible. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. They're like little ants. Oops. Controls are a little difficult in these situations. I dodged it. Sucka. Ooh. A new follower. Hello, hello. We take care of this Colossus first. Haha. Bye bye. Well, thank you for the follow. Queen House of Horror. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream and thank you so much for the follow. It, it means a ton. I'm working my way towards uh, 230 followers. Maybe we're just one step closer. Run over you. All right. We finally made it through the uh, welcoming party. Actually, maybe get out of the car soon. Okay. I don't know why it repeats the notification like that. It's very strange. But thank you again. Hi. Heck of a name. Yeah, I do appreciate a nice long name that's also easy to read. Very readable. So it's not it's not easy to do. Give yourself a longer name like that, but it's also you know, very understandable. And it evokes a certain something. I 
the same time. Alright, there's... oh man. There's still another uh, stretch of uh, road to get through here. With a name like that, I gotta ask, what's your fave horror film? Oh, great question, Derek. <laughs> the emotes are off the hook, too. Yes, indeed. What is your favorite horror film? There's something here. Is there a little secret over here? No, this just looks like I can just drive off the edge by accident. Screw myself. Keep going. It's hard to choose a fave, but I'll go with my first horror movie I saw, which is The Ring. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Now, um, is that the uh, Hollywood version? I guess it would be, because the Japanese one was just called Ring, or Ringu. But uh, yeah, the Hollywood um, Ring was excellent. In some ways, I, I do like it better than the Japanese one. In a few different ways. Ooh, that's a great choice. Also, a hell of a first horror movie, my god. <laughs> yeah, just a little disturbing. Uh. And uh, uh, Queen Huzza Horror, what is your relationship uh, with the Mass Effect series of games? If you even have one. Because uh, I will be playing quite a bit of this series uh, in the coming weeks and months until something new and shiny distracts me from it. Holy hell. There's too much, there's too much fighting in this, in this mission. It's not the fun kind. It's like this uh, whack-a-mole stuff in the, in the Mako. Oops, oh shit, I almost fell. I'm driving like a drunk right now. Oh wait. Going our way here? Okay, according to the map, I am. There's uh Oh, I see, I see. Actually, I made it. I made it. I just like get out of my car now. I was a little bit worried for a sec. I was like, oh, end of the road here. Uh, Mac, what's your pick off the top of your head? Oh, horror movie, I mean. Okay, off the top of my head, um, I'm drawing a blank here. I mean, I have the most traumatic ones. Uh, on, on Discord, we had a discussion about this uh, recently. I'll say, uh, I'll say, um, I'll say aliens. And it's a bit of a cheat because. You could almost say it's a more of an action movie uh, over a horror movie, but um, yeah, I will say Aliens, the James Cameron uh, sequel, right? That's such a good movie. Okay, so I want you to post up there. Hit him with the uh, warp. You know, hit him with the lift. Oh shit. Well. I think we have an auto save. I, I think we're safe. Yes, the American version. I love the OG Japanese version too. I'm not familiar with this game. My friend Audi sent me here, lol. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, earlier you you uh, you and Auditory know each other, eh? So that that's awesome. Thank you for the uh, 
I guess, referral almost. Uh, Mass Effect is great. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't think it was wonderful. But uh, it is one of my favorite game series of all time. And Mass Effect 2, in particular, is one of my favorite games ever. So that's my weapon. I don't know why they switched all my, my weapons out. Okay. We're gonna do better this time. We're gonna do better. Target not acquired, thank you. Okay. I'll draw him in. Don't worry guys, I'll draw him in. I've lost my shield, so I'm gonna use my barrier. I think I'm gonna put all these guys with their shield boost. Stubborn. Okay. You guys know what to do now, right? Don't warp the ground, please. Warp the guy. There he is. I'll lift him. Lift. Is he dead already? Oh, nice. Let's try sabotage then. I'm gonna try throwing him now. Oh nice, he got him. Well done. Okay, I want Rex. You come over here with me. Gareth will keep us covered from, from the back. I'll lift you. Lift you up. Good job, guys. Good Warm job. Up. Whoa! Yes. It's the spinning, spinny party cat. Love that emote. <laughs> That's a crazy emote. <laughs> Everyone loves my emotes. They are, they are quite top of the line auditory. the step of my emo game. Alright. Oh, okay. What's what's over here? Oh. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Sometimes I wonder about these level designers. Shimmy, shimmy to the uh Oh shit. Okay, we have our... Oh, we have a target over here too. So we can lift this guy. So we can lift him. There we go. 
I want you to stay here. Lost shields. Oh shit. You should turn on your shield boost. Powering up. We gotta move ahead. Shield down. Don't mess around. Oh, Alright, finally let's kill this guy first. They're so far away though. I don't even know if I'm hitting them or not. Got vaporized. I like it. I like it. Gotta heal. Does the guy have a rocket launcher too? Okay, a rocket launcher. okay, time to assassinate. And my shield boost. Oh, what the? Uh, Rex. Makes the dream work. Warp him. It's the old, the old one, two. Fly away. <laughs> Oh, is he hiding there? Oh shit, rockets. Bad, it's bad, it's bad. He could hit all of us. Let's see if I can uh, save my save my ass. Shield down. Lift them. Oh, it's still recharging. Here we go. Throw them. Oh, dead. Is that it? We good, we good. Nothing? No, no little uh, hiccups. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about the rest of you guys in terms of uh, horror movies? Uh, Queen has mentioned hers, I've mentioned mine. Uh, Auditory, Derek, do you guys have your favorite horror movies you'd like to share? I'm gonna do a save real quick. This is a long mission, this is gonna be a real long one. I feel like I'm starting to, the further I get into this mission, the more I'm feeling like it's not the right one. It's not the one where I find Liara. I could be wrong about. Oh shit, I remember this part. This 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 part's really uh tricky.
Oh, he's already down. Oh my god. These um these jumping guys, they're nasty. I okay, so many. Let me let me give it a quick pause here. So many, but off the top, there was this movie from like ten years ago called Splinter. It's a small indie horror about a couple that goes to a convenience store and gets attacked by a crazy globby spiky monster that takes humans as hosts splinter i never heard of that one derek it sounds cool though and more recently invitation 2015 about a man who gets invited to a dinner party and all hell breaks loose i feel like i've heard of that one too hmm you've given me some ideas now Thank you, Derek. Uh, my favorite, Scream, cause Skeet and uh, Matt. Oh, Skeet Ulrich and uh, Matthew Lillard. Man, I haven't seen those guys for a while. Oh, Scream was a great one. I changed my vote to Scream. <laughs> Derek. Yo, Serpent, welcome in. I just saved Liara this game lit. Well, congrats. I, I'm trying to find Liara, but I don't think I'm, I'm there yet. Imitation is a good one if you're into a slow burn psychological horror. Oh, I like my slow burns. I much prefer those over like the uh, pure gore fests, right? Okay, let's um... Wait, target that guy. Give him the warp. Here we go. Get down. Nice. Finally used some uh grenades. Gotta watch the sniper. Let me let me get Kira's back in the game here. Do a lot of pausing because you need to. Otherwise, no way back. I feel like we're being shot from behind now. Oh yeah, this guy. Hold on, this guy for a sec. Use your shield boost. Any more grenades? Seriously? There's a barrier. Oh my god, so many targets. Still recharging. You can throw them though, can't you, Rex? Bring. Shit. Yeah, okay, it's 
target this guy. Try and throw him, maybe? I don't know if that'll work. Garrus died again? Oh my goodness. I really gotta stop taking Garrus with me. I don't know what's going on. He, he He's up so good. Garrus, man. What's going on? The mission to save Liara was the one that made me give up on maximum difficulty in original ME1. Hey, Bush Pilot, welcome back. <laughs> oh no, that does not bode well. Uh, but Legendary Edition is supposed to be easier on Insanity. So here's hoping it doesn't become hopeless. I wish Rex would stop stepping in front of me. Just a, just a small wish. Okay, here we go. Wait until they, uh... Just wait until they come in front of us. Oh, how convenient. He gets thrown and he curves around the crate. How convenient. Garrus, can you stay alive longer than two seconds? Let's see here. Can I lift him? Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice. They look like little robotic frogs. See ya, froggy. Garrus died again. What's he doing? As soon as I bring him back, he dies. Uh, I, I could use a sniper right about now. Okay. I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. For some reason, he switched from using his sniper rifle. Um, yeah, I need to post up Rex somewhere because he keeps following me and his big ass body always gets my way. Post up there. Who are you shooting? Oh shit, we're getting shot badly. Oh no, use the warp, dude.
your warp is still recharging. I'm gonna try lifting you, it's not gonna do anything. Like, might hurt him a bit. One more guy left. And the tower here. Not too far to throw. To lift. Good try though. Damn. Can't get a clear shot. <laughs> He's dead. Nice. Oh shit, still a guy over here. No! Hello. Fly away. Whew. I gotta save. Because that's brutal. I'm gonna have to bed. Y'all have a good night. And Mac, have a good rest of the stream. Well, thank you very much, Auditoy. Yeah, sorry I was a little focused there getting through this uh, battle. But uh, thanks for stopping in tonight. And uh, have yourself a good evening. Hope to see you next time. I still hear robots in the distance. Uh, okay, where am I supposed to go next? Oh, there's a el um, there's a building right here, guys. Yeah, this mission keeps going and going. Yeah, I think I I'm used to playing this on uh, a normal difficulty, not spending so long on each battle. But, uh, oh shit, ghost, welcome in, long time no see, thank you so much for the, um, one month sub, you're too kind, um, how you doing tonight, ghost? What is your relationship with the Mass Effect series of video games? Dark Umi! Oh shit! Dark Umi with the raid! Hello, hello. Hold on a sec here. Turn on the music a bit. Welcome in, Raiders! Holy crap, Dark Umi, it's good to see you. Ghost, I'm good. We just got back from the state fair. Wow, we all here. <laughs> hi, back. Yeah, hi, Umi. How's your How's your uh, secular stream? You're really working hard on that game. On to eighty-seven.
That scared me. <laughs> Thank you for bringing your uh, viewers over here. I am uh, playing Mass Effect, as you can see. Uh, my name is Clintock, and I play a lot of action RPGs. Uh, once in a while, I'll just mix things up and I'll throw on like a roguelike or just like a pure action game. But yeah, that's sort of my bag. And um, I stream three times a week, usually at night. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. That's the guy who streams. I love the Mass Effect trilogy. Have you, uh, I guess you finished all uh, original three games then, Umi? Oh, okay. Uh, Ghost, you have completed the Mass Effect series as well, except for Andromeda. <laughs> I hear that a lot. It's like, oh, I love the Mass Effect trilogy, uh, haven't played Andromeda, or I don't like Andromeda. You, uh, Umi, you're three bosses away from completing the game. Holy crap. Well done. Well done indeed. I got stuck, or I kind of gave up temporarily on, um, what's his name? The daddy. Owl. Is it Owl? Yeah, your dad, your adopted dad. Yep, beat it back on the PS3. Oh, nice, nice. Have you played through it all before, Matt? Yes, I played all the original Mass Effects when they were first released. I have not played Andromeda, but I put on my wish list because I see it on sale for like a song once in a while, and I figure why not play that game if it's 10 bucks or something on sale. So uh, the original games I finished on Veteran, which is like their version of normal, so I, this time I decided, well, I'll make it interesting and play on Insanity, and that will force me to learn more of the mechanics of these games as well. Yeah. But Mass Effect 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. I really love Mass Effect 2. I cannot wait to get to that game. I feel like I'm getting through Mass Effect 1 more as like duty. Like I have to, you know, I'm duty bound to play the first game and then I can move on to the second game. But you know, the first game is good as well. Um, I definitely want to catch when you start ME3. Oh, is there something in particular about ME3 Ghost? that you wanted, yeah, that, that you were eager to sort of get to and, and watch. Oh, I'm an owl father right now. He's too brutal. So owl father, there's two fights with him, right? That's what I've heard. There's one fight in, in one stage and then you meet him again later on, right? So I'm in the first encounter and he made me give up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna head back into Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah. But it's good to have you all here on a, on a Friday night. Um, I'm actually, uh, let's see, 11 o'clock already, but I've, I definitely want to make more progress in this mission. I did start late myself. So, uh... Yeah, this mission has been a doozy. Yeah. I'm playing very slowly. Trying to be careful, but also dying a lot. Oh, shit. Let's give him a toss. And he got tossed. Oh, shit. I am in a bad way. Oh, your shields are down too? Let's get your shield boost up. You may as well get your shield boosted too. Give him a lift. Yeah, once the guy's in the air, he's basically helpless. Easy pickings. This guy left. Let's give him the old uh, sabotage. I find sabotage kind of sucks. 
<laughs> You're supposed to blow up their weapons and their hands, but they can still shoot at you. Unless I'm just misunderstanding the whole point of sabotage. Alright, Mac, it's 2 a.m. for me. I have to wake up in 8 hours. Lol. Take care, all. And good night. Thank you very much for the raid, uh, Umi. And yes, go get your beauty sleep. I hope to uh, talk to you, uh, you know, over the weekend and uh, see you in your next stream. Uh, take care, buddy. The older fight is easy, the younger fight is hard. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, Ghost, you're saying, I just like the third game the most out of the whole trilogy. The story hits different for me. The, um, what I regret about Mass Effect 3 is that I kind of rushed through it. Oh, look at this. We got a bit of a glitch here. I'm kind of like, oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh no, that's not good. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Shepard's having uh having some problems here. Let's let's get off this ramp. I think this ramp is uh bugged out. Okay, you know what? I am in the Liara mission. I'm pretty sure I'm in the Liara mission. I've never visited a Prothean ruin before, aside from the Citadel. Okay, we're, we're normal again. Uh, yeah, Mass Effect 3, I, I rushed through it, and I did appreciate that it had the tightest combat mechanics out of all three games. Did really finally sort of hone in on making the combat feel really, like, dialed in. Uh, but it, it felt like the most like an action game out of all three. Garrus is dead again. That's what it sounded like. One down. Alright, let's work on this guy next. Give me the old warp. You can toss them for me. Yeah, throw the drones. Okay. Let's just shoot the dead death then. Yeah, why not? Sterile white. Protheans sure build things homey. Yeah, we, uh, um, before more of you good people rolled in to the stream, we were having a, a casual chat about uh, horror movies and what everyone's favorite horror movies are. So, uh, so, so far we've gotten uh, The Ring, Aliens, Scream. Did I miss any? But uh, Ghost, are you a horror movie fan? And if you are, do you have a favorite? I feel like I'm pretty close to the end of this mission. Like maybe another 15 minutes. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I'll save in the same slot. Yeah, it's kind of jittery. There's still definitely some bugs. Hello? There we go. Help me? There's Liara. Please? Nice. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Keep it down. Quit shouting. This place is crawling with Geth. Sorry, I am a little 
Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must Silly girl. Out, please. Bush pilot. Imagine having a boss that turns and faces you from a foot away every time you ride an elevator together. Oh, in in this game, Bush Violet. Your mother is Learn more with about Benezia. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. No, you right. must get me out, please. That's being kind of cold. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Ah, uh, yes. The Krogan, uh, Battlemaster dude. Oh, shit. Stay up there. Stay up there, Garrus. Rex and I will take the low road. Damn it. I don't think that would hit me. I can do the mining a little bit. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on. Now it gets fun. without getting destroyed here. Um, Garrus is still covering us. Where is he again? Doesn't matter. There we go. that hit him with the warp oh yeah, he's definitely dead Uh, 
sabotage. Oh, there you go. He's not able to shoot. Uh, that's that's why I like to see. To me. There we go. Yeah, that's you. You're the boss. Your elevator rides. Ruth Garris and Rex look awkward. Oh, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That time, yeah. We usually all face it in the same direction, right? But uh, we were just staring at each other. Awkward silence that time. Okay. I, um, the bar is very low, but I do prefer this mini game over the uh, Simon Says one from the uh, console version. Though not by much more. Oh shit, mess it up. Yeah, it's still a little glitchy. Ugh, I got stuck in some geometry there. Scary. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Guess we go up this way? No. We're going the wrong way here. This way. Uh, no. Where, where the heck am I going? I have to go back to that uh, thing and activate the laser, right? That's right. There we go. Oh, how does this go? Oh, it's like a game of memory? Yeah, okay. Having no mini game at all would be better. True. True. They just uh, based on your decryption skill. You got enough, you can just hack it. Oh, look. A much more relaxed, casual uh, elevator ride. Oh, this is where we fight. Do we fight the Krogan guy yet? Not, not yet. Yo, I gotta go. My kid just woke up. Gotta sit with him till he falls asleep. Have a great rest of your day, Mac. Hey, yeah. Uh, have a good night, Derek. Thanks for stopping by. I will chat with you over the weekend. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Okay. I, Boss I fight still time. cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. 
Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure <laughs> and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Karis and Rex are having a staring contest. Here we go. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. There a reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Kill the bastard. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> <sighs> I like your attitude. Okay. Everybody, nail him with the good stuff. Shields up. Charging up. Oh shit. This guy's tough. Killed the big bad. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. No, it doesn't matter. I'll get there. Where, where's the uh, battle, battle master? Lost track of uh, far away. Oh, this is brutal. You. guy over there.
Bernard is so bad. I don't remember him being so bad. My cardio isn't so good. I'm amazed I ran out of there full full tilt. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. <laughs> He's a jerk. <laughs> it's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. <laughs> what a gentleman. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. I am playing a renegade shepherd, but uh, I don't always go for the, like the complete ass option. Sometimes I just like to pull back on my attitude, especially if I'm dealing with my my own crewmates. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge, patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, 
The Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Jeez, that's harsh. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... My How do you know this? Knowledge. What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire oh, a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't well. helping us find Saren or the Commander. Well, you know. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Oh, yeah. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Ooh, Council time. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. <laughs> yeah. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. I have no issues about being a dick towards the council. And uh, here is where we will end tonight. It's a good enough stopping point, is any. Let me just do my Normandy save. Let's see here. I keep the game running. Just for a bit. Then I will uh, start winding down the stream here. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for stopping my uh, too many people to name. Uh, thank you to Dark Umi for the raid, and thank you all uh, to all the new uh, guests who came by from the raid. Also, thanks to uh, Queen. Uh, let me let me get your name correct. Pardon me, pardon me. Queen House of Horror, yes. Uh, thank you for the follow. And uh, welcome, to the, welcome to the channel. And really thanks to everyone else who stopped by in chat. Serpent, uh, Auditory, uh, Derek, Bush Pilot, uh, Ghost. Sorry if I missed any of you, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I, had a, I had a late start to the stream. I was a little bit worried about the you know, building up some momentum, but I'm very glad everyone stopped by and hung out. Uh, I will be doing uh, more Mass Effect next week, and I'll probably be bringing back Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's been uh, a couple weeks since I gave that game a spin. Uh, so my new schedule is now Wednesday, Thursday, Friday nights. So uh, yeah, the next stream will be uh, on Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. 
and then we'll just bang out uh, you know three streams in a row over three nights and I'll see how that schedule works out for me going forward um, but yeah I'm uh, ending a little bit late so I was gonna do a raid but I'm just gonna skip the raid tonight and uh, get me some shut eye it's been a long day and uh, yeah I should just get going so without further ado I will uh, say one more thank you uh, you guys have a good night, have a great weekend, and uh, take care. See you next time.